Making friends in Stardew Valley is not required, but it's pretty fun and in some cases really worth it. In this video, I will be going through some of the best people to befriend for our own game. Of course, you should befriend who you like and probably everyone, but this video will be going over who you should befriend for some of the best recipes and benefits in the game. Some quick tips before we start. Everyone loves golden pumpkins, prismatic shards, rabbit feet and pearls. These items are pretty valuable, so rather give each person their own specific love item. Also, remember to give people items they love on their birthday. It will be 8 times more effective. You can check the calendar by Peary Shop to see whose birthday is coming up, but you can also buy a calendar at Robin's shop and place it right next to your bed. Then you can wake up every day and check whose birthday is right next to your bed. A great time saved. <laughs> Willie is one of the best people to befriend in Stardew Valley. Every few hearts you will get a new cooking recipe that all give you an increased fishing stat. This is especially helpful if you are struggling to catch the legendary fish. When you get 3 hearts, he will send you the recipe for chowder, which gives you plus 1 fishing. But at 7 hearts, Willie will send you the cooking recipe for fish stew. That will give you a massive 3 to your fishing skill. This will increase the size of your fishing bar by quite a bit and will generally make your life much easier. With a trapper barber and some fish stew, you, you will catch every legendary fish with ease. Making friends with Billy isn't that tough too. He loves catfish, octopus, sea cucumbers and tiger trout. These fish are probably only medium difficulty to catch so you can easily get them and make friends with Billy. Willie's birthday is on the 24th of summer. I would always recommend making friends with George. The old man might seem grumpy, but damn, does he know some good recipes. At three hearts, he will teach you how to make fried eel, which will give you plus one luck. And going in the skull cavern, you will need all the luck you can get, but it even gets better. At seven hearts, George will teach you how to make spicy eel. This is basically the same, but better. You will get plus one luck and plus one speed, meaning you can get even deeper in into the mine with that added speed and luck. The green serpents in the skull cavern can also drop spicy eel, but bringing your own is just more reliable. So get this recipe and reach the bottom of the skull cavern. Making friends with George is simple. He loves leeks. You'll find plenty of leeks during spring. If you don't have any leeks, you can make fried mushrooms as well, but I always make sure to have enough leeks ready for George because I absolutely love spicy eel. His birthday is on 24th of fall. Now on to Easy Lily. Easy Lily is one of the best townspeople to befriend in Stardew Valley. She even has a YouTube channel and she uploads daily Stardew Valley videos. So make sure to subscribe and leave a like. And for extra bunny points, you should leave a comment saying who you always befriend in Stardew Valley and why. Nah, I'm just kidding you guys. <laughs> no, but really, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel loads. Linus is pretty easy to befriend. He likes most things. So I usually just give him whatever random forgeable I have on me when I walk past him. But he loves cactus fruit which can both easily be obtained from the desert once you have completed the vault bundle. Why do we want to befriend Linus? Well, at three hearts he will teach you how to make sashimi. And sashimi is quite useful. You can convert all the cheap fish into sashimi to make extra money. So if you get any sardines, anchovies, brims or carp, just turn them into sashimi and sell the sashimi. You'll make tons of extra money. Pretty worth it I think. Linus's birthday is on the 3rd of winter. Robin is a town carpenter and she will make all kinds of useful buildings for you like the barn and she can even upgrade your house for you. But Robin makes a really good friend because at 6 hearts there will be a special event and after that event she will teach you how to make drum and flute blocks. You can use these just for decoration or you can get really creative and make some cool sounds like this. Once you've reached 7 stars, Robin will teach you how to make pumpkin soup, which is an incredibly easy recipe to make. You just need one pumpkin and one jar of milk, but it will give you plus 2 luck and plus 2 defense. Yeah, that is pretty amazing. Imagine bringing that into the mine. You will be able to tank enemies easier and the plus 2 luck will get you more ores and gems, making you more money. And it will only cost you one pumpkin and one milk. Robin is also not that fussy. 
she likes hardwood which you can easily get and she loves goat cheese. If you want to spoil Robin on her birthday, her birthday is on the 21st of fall. You should definitely become friends with Caroline. She's probably one of my favorite non-romantic characters out there. She just has a cool look with her interesting hair color. Caroline loves tea. She has a sunroom in her house that once you have reached two hearts with her, she will give you a key to her sunroom. And once per day you can harvest tea leaves at the sunroom. And at the end of the season that you befriend her, she will send you a recipe to make a tea sapling which can be grown into a tea tree. The tea tree takes 20 days to fully mature and start producing tea leaves that will regrow every day day. You can either sell the tea leaves as it is for 50 gold or you can turn the leaves into tea and sell the tea for 100 gold. Getting some tea trees will help you make some decent money over time, especially because they grow in any season including winter. You can also drink the tea to get plus 30 maximum energy. Caroline is a little bit picky. She loves fish tacos and green tea, but at least we only need two hearts to get the tea tree sapling. She likes daffodils which you can get easily in spring foraging. Caroline's birthday is on the 7th of winter. Now I know what you're thinking. Pam can be grumpy and she seems kind of mean but trust me being friends with Pam has its benefits. Firstly she's pretty easy to befriend because you will find her at the bus stop every day after you have finished the vault bundle so she is easy to find. And once you have reached at least one friendship heart, she will randomly send you a gift via the mail. The real reason why being friends with Pam is good is good <laughs> is because on her list of potential gifts is a battery pack and an energy tonic. Battery packs are generally kind of tough to get and you will need them for iridium sprinklers. So getting a free one randomly every now and then is pretty worth it. And Pam needs friends too. The easiest way to make friends with Pam is to give her alcohol, but not wine. She loves beer, meat and pale ale. Remember to give her beer on her birthday on the 18th of spring. She will be forever in your debt. And lastly, you should befriend the wizard. When you reach four hearts with the wizard, he will let you into his basement, which will allow you to change your appearance for 500 gold. This isn't that important, but if you ever get bored of your character's look, you can just change it in the wizard's basement. The wizard is actually easy to befriend because he loves solar and void essence. And you will get tons of those stuff in this whole cavern eventually. He is just kind of out of the way. The wizard's birthday is on the 17th of winter if you want to spoil him. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember, all these towns people I spoke about are just good to make friends with. But you should really make friends with whomever you want. Whoever resonates with you based on personality and your own preference. These are the characters I make friends with for selfish gain. But actually, I really love Abigail. She's probably one of my favorite characters. If you like this video, please consider hitting subscribe. Until next time.